yeah, YouTube and Taurus High Point production coming at you. My name's Ray Shepard. Uh, I recently picked up guitar seven to ten days ago. Somebody gave me one, and yeah, it's not a Stratocaster or anything like that. It's just an old first act. Blue in color, got a little Apple sticker on it, but I'm not complaining about it. Uh, Need a little work here and there, but some of the finish has been chipped here and there. But for what it is, a starting guitar. Okay. Now, when I got into this, I was looking for so much on YouTube to, that was basic beginner stuff, and most of it had to deal with playing the guitar basic beginner stuff. Um, this is a little different from that if you're a basic beginner and you just got your first guitar and you're wondering for who to watch it. Okay. These are your tuners. Okay. Each one of those tightens the string corresponding string to a corresponding note that you're looking for while you're trying to tune your guitar. Okay. Now, <clears throat> from there, they are on the head of the guitar. Okay. This entire piece that comes all the way down and stops here and comes all the way back up that's your neck and on the neck you have frets which is a break at these bars is where a fret is between this white bar and the silver bar that's one fret second third fourth fifth fret so on and so forth as you work your way down Now, that is where you run into your hello, because within each fret, of course, you got five strings. Where your fingers are on the strings, it can either be a note or a chord. I'm, like, like I said, I'm breaking this down, busting this down very very basic um, so this way you could have seven notes on one fret uh, I think I've seen up to nine but that's later on down where the fret gets a little bit larger um, a flat sharp natural A B C D E F G um, on the strings, Marty Music does a dang good one. Uh, starting with the top and working your way down to the smallest one. Eddie 8 Dynamite, good by Eddie. Okay. Now those are your strings. They're not necessarily the notes on that string. But then they could be depending on where your fingers are. On this fret. It's all stuff that uh, I wanted to know it, but then once I opened that door, it was like Pandora screaming at me, and I allowed myself to get kind of overwhelmed from it. Don't. You know, you'll learn this as, as you go along and start playing. Excellent teachers out there, Lauren Bateman, Marty Music, um, there's a ton of them out there. Uh, check out their courses online if you want. I'm not advocating to anyone, it's if you want, you choose, therefore you are responsible. Right now I'm just following them on YouTube. Uh, I've subscribed to a couple of their newsletters, it, it, it helps me keep up with stuff that's going on in the guitar world I haven't 
really subscribe to any teaching yet. Uh, if you ask me if there's one teacher that I like better than the other, beginning wise, now we're talking, you're coming in, you're looking at this guitar and your head explodes. You're that new to it. Okay. Lauren Bateman has a few easy chords, easy cheats to kick start you in the butt to get you rolling. Uh, I like a lot of her techniques as far as the, the, the learning, the, the, the strings, and just the spidering. Uh, a couple of other people bring it up. She starts with three fingers. Uh, where I differ from that is I, I took her teaching, but because, you know, look, um, I'm old, uh, gray beard, uh, mm, my right uh, left wrist has been broken twice. Uh, I got a little difficulty in, in getting the fingers to match on the, so she has, you start down here, I think it's seventh fret. And work it that way. I decided to keep it all the way down here on the first fret and, and work across each fret with each finger. Um, she does different, she does three. I went ahead and added that because I'm going to have to work out and get that finger moving anyway. And being older, I figured I would kickstart myself that way. Nothing wrong with the way she does it. And she keeps it, if you're new and basic and just starting out, run with it. Um, as far as uh, the, the spidering, like I said, I start down here at the first fret and then work my way down. And then after I hit the last four, I move down four, and then move up four. Then I move down four, move down four, move down four. Yeah. You do this any way you feel like doing it. Um, I do it that way because it's just really working at hand. Uh, 25, 30 minutes a day. Um, Actually, it's generally longer for me because I'll put it down and come back to it, put it down, come back to it, and just one string wonders, uh, one string songs, excellent. Um, after you've been doing that for 25, 30 minutes, those one string songs make you feel like you've accomplished something. And two, they kind of help you with speed along the string. Okay. Just don't get stuck in that rut. That's all I can ask. Uh, I play them occasionally. Generally, I do another one, Bites to Dust, but there are uh, Smoke on the Water, TNT is done on one string. Um, I try not to get stuck there. I keep the practicing up and when I'm feeling, you know, disheartened, discouraged, I'll try one of those little one string wonder songs and hey great, awesome. Uh, but just the basics covering again on the in guitar, I did explain that this is the neck and then these each individual spaces is the fret and within that fret you have different chords different notes uh, working the way down to the body this is basically where all your strumming action takes place these are your pickups this is your bridge uh, where they, where, that's where I plug in my If I had it, that's where I would plug in my amp. Um, these two knobs, 
tone and volume, uh, sharper tone, more bass, uh, more volume, self-explanatory on that one. Uh, but which first guitar should you start with, whether it's electric or acoustic? I was given the electric, so that's why I started just that simple uh, if you're going out to buy one for me let me explain the acoustic even though it was on my lap being a little older it was hard to reach over everything and reach around everything to pick the strings if you're a young man and, and you've got that extra flexibility in that shoulder by all means run with an acoustic. I just did this first of all because extremely cheap it was a gift. Uh, well, for each his own on that one uh, I would say go into a store that allows you to play them try both and make a decision from there on what's going to be your first one. Does it have to be a first act? Does it have to be a Donner? Does it have to be a Fender? Does it have to be a Stratocaster? Does it? Ha no. Start with something you feel comfortable with in purchasing. Like I said, this was a gift. It's what kind of kicked me off into it. I'm enjoying it. Uh, however, it is a little bit. Uh, burning to the fingers uh, both inside and outside if you move down that cord too quick you're gonna burn your finger if you uh, keep and push yourself past 25 30 minutes and say you, you, you do the spidering for an hour that's really gonna burn at the back of the hand and in the wrist to each his own you choose you be responsible I'm Taurus High Point Productions I choose, therefore, I am responsible.